So over here, you can see that I have uh, the project file opened up and then you can see that I have some tasks listed out as well. And in some area, you can see that there's spelling error. For example, in story line writing, you can see that there's double I right here. And there might be many, many sp uh, spelling errors that might have occurred in your particular project. So if you want to go around and then correct them, then you can go around over here onto the project tab and then you can go around and click on spelling right here, ABC spelling. Once you do that, it'll scan out the document for any spelling errors that there are. And you can see that it detected out now the storyline right here. And this is what it suggested. So you can go around and change this out over here as well. Similarly, you can see that it detected shooting as well. There's three O's in shooting. So you can go around, select out the uh, correction that you want to change it to, and then click on change. And similarly, it detected out budget as well. So you can simply go around and change this out right here. Let me just go around and some type in something like DigiTube over here, which is the name of my channel. And if I were to go around over here, so let me just go around onto DigiTube and I'm going to say DigiTube channel, for example, and go to spelling. And here you can see that it did, uh, detected that as an error as well. But let's say this is what I want to uh, write it as, and I don't want uh, the spelling checker to perceive it as an error. In that case, you can simply ignore it or um, to prevent future corrections for such format as well, we can go around and click on add right here, just like this, and then it'll be added to the project. So once you go around onto the spell checker, you can see it says spell checking has been complete right here. So if I were to go around over here and then let's go around and add in a double I over here and go to spell checker again, you can see that it detects the spelling out right here. So this is what you have, as you can see, and you can go around and change out the language for spell checking as well as you like this like this and uh, change it how you like. So you can simply ignore it. And once you ignore it, it won't change it and it leaves it as it is, as you can see this like this. So you can just go around and keep it uh, over here if you want to. So that is how you can utilize this spell checker to correct out the spellings, uh, the uh, spelling errors that may be there in your project inside of a Microsoft project file. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.